Hi guys and welcome back for another video. Today I'm doing a highly requested DIY video. As a lot of you guys know I have quite a few pen pals from all around the world and I often send letters or packages back and forth. I often get quite a few private messages from you guys asking what kind of things I put in my packages as if you've never done it before you don't really know what to send. So I thought I'd create a little video giving you some ideas and some inspiration for things that you might want to include. A lot of my pen pals surprisingly all suffer from the similar eczema elbow that I do. That's because of my wheat and sugar intolerance. Something that I really enjoy receiving is when they've sent me a recipe they found, handwritten it and stuck in a little photo of them making it or what it looks like once they've made it. I have at least two or three different types of muffin recipes now, but I also have a family heirloom recipe from my Canadian pen pal. So sending something that's also personal as well, so maybe your secret ingredient to your special fried rice is something that you could put in your letter. You can always make a recipe look really nice with some stickers or some drawings or a photo. Artwork is something that I've recently started sending, mainly because I realised how much I enjoy receiving artwork from my other pen pals. My Canadian pen pal is actually an artist, so she sends me some of her prints sometimes, which I then put up around my room or in frames. You can also cut up your paintings and make them into bookmarks, but it doesn't even have to be a painting. It can be just a little quick sketch of them or just a little drawing that's quite quick. So that your pen pal gets to know you better, it's also nice to share your music taste with them. So creating a seasonal playlist, so whether it's your summer playlist, your favourite winter songs, um, songs that you sing to in the shower, things like that. They can then explore your music tastes and find new artists that they might really enjoy. And you can also make this look really nice again with drawings and stickers. It's also really nice when you receive that letter and you find a small artist that you think nobody knows of, but they actually know that artist as well and they like the same songs as you. That's always a nice surprise. Tea bags are such a great thing to put in letters. I don't actually drink that much tea, but it makes the letter a lot more interactive because they can then brew the tea and and drink the tea while they're reading your letter and it creates a really nice atmosphere. Being English I can send an English builder's tea to them uh, and if they're in Asia then they might send me some of their jasmine teas or whatever their local area is best known for. Tea bags are great because they're thin you can't send a whole coffee filter in a letter. Handmade jewellery like handmade bracelets or handmade earrings like the one that my Canadian pen pal made with the feathers. It's such a beautiful personal touch and it shows that you've put effort and time into making your letter. It doesn't necessarily have to be handmade. If you find a thin little delicate necklace or a bracelet or a friendship bracelet or an anklet or a little ring then that is a great gift too because it's light. I tend to go for more simple jewellery as you don't want to get anybody that you don't know too well something really absurd that they might not like and might not wear. Receiving beauty related things is such a nice thing, especially if you have anybody in Asia, so Korean face masks or my Singaporean pen pals often send me their beauty tools and things like that which is really nice. You can cheaply pick up sheet masks at Superdrug and Boots for less than a pound um, and they're easy again because they're flat. You can't send tubs of clay masks, that doesn't quite work. I'm just going to say it but food is always great. If you can find thin snacks, again thin being the key thing here. When I first started sending food, Malams were my go-to treats because they're thin and they're like sticks and I think you can only get them in the UK as well so that's also quite a nice extra plus. Either that or you can get the healthy version which is the fruit strip bars. If you're into photography and want to make your own Pinterest board um, and your own mood board then I would definitely recommend this. You can make your own collages so you could perhaps do them by colour, do like a white one, a pink one, a green one, a blue one, a purple one, your favourite colour. Or you can just mix all of your favourite things together where it be like a floral board or just to get to know me page. So have a few photos of your friends, a few photos of your family, a few photos of what you like to do, your house, your garden, your dog, a lot of your dog if possible. Heads up if we ever become pen pals, just send me photos of your dog. It doesn't even have to be your dog, any dog, just send me all the photos. Now all you have to do is just write a really nice letter. For that you could just include 20 facts about you or a diary entry or what you're up to on that day, whatever you like. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for weekly videos every Thursday on this channel and I will see you next week. Have a nice day. Bye bye.